tutarudi tena kwako kwa, kwa kuongea kuhusu uh, Kaya hizi ni smart speakers ambazo mm. pia saa yunge na timu yake wame wame na timu nyingine vile mshirikiana yeah. sio yeah. yeah. let us con to na vile vile kwa, kabla sijaenda kwa uh, given yule jamaa alteza yake ule mwaidi vipi ahadi uh, on time ahadi ya niko pale pale, pale, pale. Yani, uh, sasa hivi eh. i would say he is good more than even alteza lakini okay. ile i, na hii ni kwangu kwa wale ambao niko founders wangu wasema hapo mimi mimi I want to I want to be a man of my word ndio okay. ndio nataka kusema mimi kikamilike yeah. mimi naamini hivi mm. hivi niambia au au fikiria mwenye mtazama mtambaye anasikia ana, sasa hivi yeah. Tanzania tuna watu milioni 54 okay watu milioni moja pekee tumie mtabe app mm. watumie soma app na kwa mwezi watu hao watulipe shilingi 1000 tu mm. Unafikiri tutaunda shilingi ngapi? Nyingi sana. Unafikiri tutalipa ushushi kiasi gani? Tutajie watu wangapi? Yeah. Kwa na cha kwanza ambacho tunacho hii ni nifikia hapo sasa hivi kampeni ofa sisi kama somo hapo ni kuwafanya wa Afrika mm. wa Tanzania yeah. wasipuuzie hapo zetu sababu tu wana kwa mbele hapo za wazungu na watu kutoka sehemu nyingine. Tuna sisi mimi naambia kila sisi mimi mtembea. Eh. Yeah wabongo wana akili. Ah. Kuna wazungu wanafuata. Sio yeah. watu wanatufuata. Okay. Hawafiki tuna akili basi kama kama zingine ambao unadhalika lakini tuna akili. Yaani kuna watu unajua mpaka leo idea zetu unazitembelea na wanakuita bwana Jo mm. unapatikana ndege tena business class njoo kwenye meeting. Hiyo ni brainstorm meeting njo to discuss. Okay. Chaelewa. So I think you have the same experience. Yeah. Lakini ni kama sisi bahati mbaya eh msema huu kwamba nabii akubariki kwao. Mimi mm. nataka tubadilishe hii dhana ya Afrika. Afrika kwa mfano mimi ndio tunaye mfano huyu jamaa Valonchi Mtabe mimi ni ofisini ndio yeah ni ofisini kana ngalia kwa kambi kama huyu jamaa kama ngalia huyu shambuli huyu huyu vipi huyu jamaa eh ai na kumbe sikio ai kwa na uliwa swali mzee yani ni kwa ajili eh inspirational okay anaweza kufanya amefanya amefanya mwenyewe by the way na timu yake sasa kama amefanya huyu baada ya kufanya sasa struggle alizopitia kufanya na kipindi kilala njaa yeah same mzee Unaelewa? Na pia watu wakuelewi. Ni struggle lakini basi baada ya kulaunch bidhaa yake, support it tuitumie. Yes. Unaelewa? Yeah. Pindikia na kula ndizi ilikuwa soma hapo. Okay. Tumelaunch hapo. Ndizi gani by the way? Ndizi zi mbivu zi mchana. Kwa hiyo tunaona ndizi mbivu za 2000 mhm kama ndizi nane hizi. Katakata. Tukua tu wanne. Ndizi nane hivi tunachukua na maji yale ya Azam 2000 mathali makubwa yale. Eh eh. Ya kofsi. Mchana. Mchana ndapiga ndizi na maji. Piga pasi ndefu. Piga pasi ndefu. Eh eh. Zambia <laughs> Mimi nazama naweza kumtoa office mkuu hapa Afrika. Sasa mimi sasa hivi naanza kuunda YouTube au office mkuu ya Afrika, social media ya Afrika. Okay. Watu wao watu mwa china china wamfungia watu. Yeah, yeah. Tunaweza kufanya. Okay. Lakini ndio hivyo kwamba jamii yetu na vijana wengi kubali. Nachukua time kutuelewa. Yeah. Sure sure. Afu kaa vile nje naeleka sana kuliko nyumbani inaboa. Yaani nje wana kuelewa mimi wewe umfikia nini mda undaje afu nyumbani wana wanatulia poa kile. Jamaa yule baje wale zikwa. Aya mtabe na maelimu yes hebu sasa tu, tu zenyeni zinafanyaje by the way great um, hey. Tanzania na maelimu okay maelimu ilianza kama platform kwa ajili ya, ya wanafunzi ku discuss mm-hmm. uh, wanafunzi ambao wako sehemu mbalimbali wanafunzi ambao yuko Kibasila mm-hmm. anaweza ku discuss namba yuko Galanos Tanga namba yuko Boys wanaweza kukutana wakasoma kwa wakati mmoja that was the goal wakutania wapi kwenye kwenye app kwenye simu au, au kwenye Mshika website yes. ah website na kwenye, na kwenye simu. simu so unaingia tu kwenye simu unaanzisha discussion ushaanza kama whatsapp group hivi yes uh-huh. unasoma na wengine that was the overall goal yeah. um, na na hilo lengo bado lipo mm. kwa sababu um, nikiangalia mimi mwenyewe baadhi ya mambo ambayo yamenisaidia kuwa um, tofauti kwa upande wa development ya initiative mbalimbali mm. ni zoezi zima la, la la kuweza kujifunza haraka na wengine. Okay. Um, kuna kuna utafiti mmoja unasema kwamba um, unakumbuka asilimia nadhani tano ya yale ambayo um, unasoma. Unafuku, unakumbuka una asilimia kumi ya yale ambayo 
unasikia unakumbuka asilimia tano yale ambayo unasoma na kusikia mm-hmm. unakumbuka asilimia hamsini ya yale ambayo unafundisha unakumbuka asilimia themanini yale ambayo unajadiliana and so kadi unazidi kwenda unagundua kwamba the best way mtu anaf- anaelewa ni vile ambavyo uh, the top level mm. ilikuwa ni lile jambo ambalo unafundisha wengine the second top level ilikuwa ni lile jambo ambalo unajadiliana no, na wengine okay. lakini level ya chini ilikuwa ni lile jambo ambalo unalisoma mm. kwa maana ya kwamba jambo kusoma peke yake haitoshi ili wewe kuweza kuelewa kitu um, the numbers the percentages are debatable among the, the research com- com- community mm-hmm. but the hierarchy ilikuwa ni kwamba mambo mama mengi ambayo unataka kuelewa zaidi ni yale ambayo unafundisha mtu mwingine and, and so platform ya discussion ili, ilikuwa ni muhimu kwa, kwa lengo hilo lakini baadaye muda ulizidi kwenda nikagundua kwamba the goal is bigger than platform ya, ya discussion the goal is is kutengeneza world class secondary school students mm-hmm. that is my personal commitment develop world class secondary school students from Tanzania and essentially Africa nzima kwa sababu asset kubwa ya Afrika ukiachana na resources ni vijana wake ikifika mwaka 2050 kati ya watu watatu duniani mmoja atakuwa ni Mwafrika kwa sababu dunia inazidi kwenda wa Afrika ndio bara pekee ambalo watu wanazidi kuwa vijana mm. wakati wengine wanazeeka nchi kama Uganda median age ni miaka 15. Kwa Afrika nadhani it's around the same maybe slightly juu. Lakini kwa mabara mengine wanazidi kuwa wazee kwa maana ya umri wa wastani. Ni sababu ndio wanazidi kwenda asset kubwa tulionayo ni ya ni ya nanalia, ni ya vijana. Lakini at the same time unakuja kukugundua watu wengi ambao hawa hawezi kusoma na kuandika wako pia Afrika. So ukikumbani hivi vitu vile unakuta kuja kugundua Africa ipo katika position of strength lakini hiyo strength pia inaweza kawa weakness yake huko mbeleni mm-hmm. so the best the next best, best thing we can do is kujaribu kuwapa hawa watu elimu na wanafunzi wa sekondari ndio asset yetu kubwa ukiangalia nchi kama Marekani au nchi za nje wana invest sana katika wanafunzi wa sekondari and that's understandable kwa sababu umri ambao wanafunzi yuko university kule yo umri ambayo wanafunzi huko sekondari. Mm-hmm. So in the end of the day sisi we are, we are sort of copying the method but not the purpose. We are, we are, we are copying the target education but ignoring the target age. The target age ni mtu ambaye labda kabla hajafikisha miaka 22. Fun. It happens kwa Marekani huyo mtu yuko chuo. Kwa Afrika huyo mtu likely yuko secondary. So we need to invest up. Yo maana mimi I'm very passionate na wanafunzi wa secondary kwa sababu hata mimi I, 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 I the change begin secondary school. I usually see myself kama chupa. Najua ukiangalia chupa labda ya soda kitu ambacho kinaipa ile chupa thamani it's not for the sake of it being chupa. It's the content ile kwa nayo ndani. Which means ichukua ile soda ukayamisha ukaweka hata kwenye chupa ya maji ile ile chupa ya maji sasa hivi itakuwa na thamani kubwa kuliko ile chupa ya soda and so every time nikijiangalia mimi i don't see myself as exceptional sijioni kama mtu tofauti na vijana wengine najiangalia kama resort ya vitu vyote ambavyo nimeweza kuingiza ndani yangu over time ambako vimeni develop kuwa mtu ambaye niko sasa hivi ambaye naanzisha business ideas na present nchi mbalimbali anaweza ku usof matatizo mbalimbali am um, the total of everything i've been able to fill my mind with which means ukiweza kuchukua vitu ambavyo mimi ninavyo ukaviweka kwa kijana yote yule wa Tanzania utakuwa una given mwingine so my dream is this what if kijana mwingine aweze kupitia yale ambayo nimepitia aweze kujifunza yale mambo ambayo nimejifunza all the way tangu niko mdogo najifunza programming kutoka kwenye simu ya bibi mpaka na mali, namaliza form 6 muda ambao yali najua development yali najua kuso ideas what if tunge tungewezesha vijana at least f1 peke yake kwa Tanzania kwa mwaka mmoja wakaweza kupitia the same thing wakaweza kupata the same experience it means right now singekuwa unaongea na mimi ungekuwa unaongea na watu na watu wengine f1 
So it's all a result ya vitu ambavyo tunawapa. So if we able to give this wanafunzi wa secondary mapema, then we will develop more and more and more and more. Which means we, we will be able to move quicker. It means badala ya ya kuwa na Isaya mmoja, tunakuwa tuna Isaya 1000. Hiyo inaelewa? Which means hapa kwa sasa tunakuwa kuna watu 2000 badala ya wawili. Mm-hmm. And so the goal becomes to make sure kwamba by the time wanafunzi anamaliza secondary they are the best version they can be. Mara ya kwanza tulikuwa tunadhani kwamba tunashindana wenyewe kwa kwa wenyewe. But that has changed. Kwa sasa hivi tunashindana na, na dunia nzima. Ina maana mwisho wa siku mimi chukia um, I don't know mafanikio labda ya Isaya au mafanikio ya kijana mwingine au hata wenzetu waliokuwa katika position of strength kwa Tanzania either wapo katika position of influence bit serikalini bit katika makampuni bit katika mashika yenye nguvu wao ndio kusupport vijana wa Tanzania kuendelea mbele ni sawa sawa na seli ya ini kuichukia seli ya figo mm-hmm. we are all part of the same body wote ni sehemu ya mwili mmoja wewe kujaribu kum, kum wewe kutokumsaidia wewe seli ya ini wewe kutokumsaidia seli ya figo haumumizi seli ya figo umumiza mwili mzima ambao ki shut down hata wewe unaumia which means the aim kwa sasa hivi iwe ku support vijana ambao wanafanya masuala ya ubunifu for me i've picked my struggle i think everybody should should pick their struggle i think kila mmoja inabidi atafute struggle yake um Charles Bukowski alishaya kusema find what you love and let it kill you. I think everybody should do that. Kila mtu inabidi aamue kwamba mimi hichi ndio kitu ambacho nitakufa nacho. That way mwisho wa siku you'll be able to do great things kwa sababu um, what we need as a country we do not need um, people usually say ask what you you can do for your country or what your country can do for you variations of that. That shouldn't be the question. The, the question shouldn't be what can I do for my country? The question should be what makes you active? What makes you come alive? Because what this country needs is people who are in their zone. Si unaelewa? That's what this country needs. Hatuhitaji mtu ambaye asemi nini ambacho naweza nikakifanyia ta Tanzania. Tanzania ina matatizo mengi. Tunahitaji mtu ambaye anajua nini ambacho kinamuasha nini ambacho yeye alivyo ni kama ameloa mafuta kitu gani ndio kama kibiliti ambacho kinam set on fire once you find that spot that's the place where you can contribute the most kwa nchi yako ina maana ukiweza kumpata mtu ambaye that spot kwake ni ni mfano samata samata the best thing he can do is kucheza mpira to the best of his ability that's the best way he can serve this country aki swali lingekuwa what can samata do for this country samata angeweza kuwa mlinzi wa wa wanyama angeweza kuwa mtu wa wanyama poli analinda twiga tunawaba wa twiga he could be doing that samata angeweza kuwa mwanasheria kupigania labda haki za 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 za, za wa Tanzania But the question is not what can you do for Tanzania there's a lot of things you can do for Tanzania. The question should be what makes you come alive. What is it that you can contribute best? Kwa sababu if we can get you to the place where you are at home, to the place where you can contribute the most, then you, then we'll be able to change this country. Aliongea Warren Buffett, alisema I'm not genius, I'm just smart in some sports and I stay around those sports kwa maana ya kwamba yeye sio genius. Yeye anafanya vizuri katika maeneo machache na anakaa katika maeneo hayo hatoki nje ya hayo maeneo. Albert Einstein alisema everybody is a genius but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree it will live its whole life thinking it's stupid. Kila mtu ana uwezo wake lakini ukisema umjaji samaki kwa uwezo wake wa kupanda mti yule samaki ataishi maisha yake yote akijiona mjinga. And so that is the problem that we have. We have vijana ambao wanajaribu ku fit into what is already there. They're not trying to find out what makes them come alive. You take Samata out of Mpira, we don't know who he is. He's not Samata anymore. 
you take mimi out of innovation to survive but i will not reach the best thing i could have done for this country you take his hire out of innovation hata kufa but he will not reach his peak so the goal is how do we help secondary school students about the asset kubwa become the best version of themselves that's why maelimu kama maelimu it is much as it ends kama platform ya discussion for save the goal is to develop world class secondary school students tutaka by the time wanafunzi anamaliza secondary they are the best version of themselves we have a discussion for save the next thing we want to do is kuanzisha um mashindano ya ubunifu okay kama bongo star search <laughs> lakini ya, ya ideas mm. tunalika wanafunzi wana present idea wanasema kwa mimi nataka ni soft tatizo hili this is how i solve them which is good to tunapa zawadi fedha tuna support zile ideas um that's the overall goal ya maelimu kuwe kuwasaidia wanafunzi wa secondary to become the best version of themselves um okay. tabe it aims ku tackle issue ya um watu ambao hawana access na internet okay kwa sasa hivi kati ya ya watu kumi ya Afrika wa zaidi ya watu sita hawatumii internet which means kama Afrika ingekuwa ni ni, ni tuseme tumeka ramani ya Afrika hapa ukasema ile ramani uispin uizungushe afu uisimamishe random sehemu ukasema naenda hapa Kizungusha mara kumi, mara sita utaenda sehemu ambako watu watumii internet. Ukisema uwachague watu kumi random Afrika, sita ya watu ambao utawachagua hawatumii internet. Which means kama solution yako ina require internet, straight out of the box tayari umeshawaacha watu sita. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing katika masuala ya, ya elimu. I've done my elimu. Um, na moja sehemu ambayo ambayo nilikuwa nilipata ni kwamba unatusaidiaje sisi ambao hatuna access na internet. And so for me I figured let me help students ambao hawana access na internet au smartphone. Tuliondoka mwaka jana mwishoni tukaenda Kilimanjaro Moshi. Tukaonana na wanafunzi wengi na walimu wengi na wazazi wengi. Internet is a challenge. And the biggest trap we have ni kwamba we talk among ourselves and we assume that's the case everywhere. Unaelewa? Kwa yule mdudu ambaye yuko ndani ya koko la embe, kwake yeye dunia nzima ni niko kwa laembe kwa sababu that's all he sees you know asa hata kwa sisi we spend so much time talking among ourselves and we assume the whole world is is like that ukikaa kwa kwa mfano tukijilimi tu wewe ukukaa unaongea na mimi na isaa peke yake tutaongea artificial intelligence mm-hmm. tutaongea robotics tutaongea mambo sijui ya cryptocurrency tutaongea kuhusu jinsi ambavyo Huawei na Google wao wamepart ways leo you know and it will, it will be easy to relate kwa sababu wote tupo ndani ya koko wa moja but ukienda huko nje unagundua kwamba kuna matatizo mengi ambayo watu wanayo ambayo we need to, to solve them fast we need to get back to the basics kwa afrika sasa hivi kati ya vijana watano kijana mmoja hana kazi na hayuko shule nilikuwa uh, umoja wa afrika hadi sababa ethiopia mwezi uliopita hii ni moja ya mambo ambayo tulikuwa tunajadili kwenye masuala ya elimu kwamba elimu changamoto kwa sababu tuna watu wengi ambao hawako shule na wasomi lakini ukikiachana na hapo watu wengi wanafanya kazi kwenye informal sector 96% ya vijana hapo kwenye kwenye informal sector which means we need to think about how we can empower them okay so mtabe is about going back to the basics let's make sure kwanza kila mtu anapata the bare thing ambako wanahitaji mara kwanza tusema tukua tunafundishwa kwamba the basics needs food shelter and clothing mm kwa sasa hivi you cannot talk Lamborghini kwa mtu ambaye ana clothing so right now we are trying to do that with education let's make sure we get people to the level whereby they can even think to dream before we can tell them they can achieve their dreams so mtabe focuses on that the basics let's make sure everybody gets the basics without internet okay my elimu focuses on ensuring that stu- these students they become the best version of themselves okay Yeah. So um mumsikia given amezielezea vizuri sana mtabe pamoja na maelimu. Sasa kuharaka haraka sana hivi ni vitu muhimu sana bi tuviseme. Yeah. Eh, kabla ya kumalizia na uh, tulikuwa tunazungumza na given yeah. uh, kabla ya interview. Yeah. Uh, kwa sababu unaangalia process zote mzo I mean kuanzia safari yenu lazima utakutana na mtu aweke yeah. pesa akusaidie yeah. yeah. namna gani ambavyo mnaweza kupitch ideas za uh, 
innovation na ukapata pesa uh, given alikuwa ananiambia kuna baadhi ya changamoto ambazo uh, developers ambao ni wachanga hawajui na wanakosa tutaongea hiyo kwa ufupi mwishoni lakini cha muhimu sasa nataka tu uh, by the way kutazungumzia kuhusu uh, kaya yeah. kwa ufupi pia mmefanikiwa um, kupata tuzo moja nyie yeah. ya malikia, ya malikia. Yeah. wewe ulipata 2015 yeah. yeah. afu yunge ulipata 2018 yeah. ni kwa ni kwa tuzo ni hii tuzo inatolewa kwa watu gani um, malikia elizabeth na na timu yake mm. um, timu ya malikia maongozo wa malikia walitaka ku tengeneza ama kuonyesha legacy na kuacha legacy ya Malikia. Um, kama Malikia sinza tangu kama Malikia uh, wa, 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 wa na kiongozi wa Commonwealth okay. wa ya Madora. Yeah. Lakini njia za nzuri zaidi kwa kuacha ku, uh, legacy yake kuiacha iishi kwa muda mrefu na ionekane kwa maisha ya jamii mbalimbali za dola ilikuwa ni kutafuta vijana kuangalia vijana ambao wanafanya kazi mbalimbali. Mbali. Mm-hmm. Uh, mradi mbalimbali ambayo ina lengo la kusaidia jamii zao kujikomoa kwenye um, tatizo mbalimbali ya kiuchumi, ya kielimu, kiafya yote ambayo wanafanya na basi kwa na msaada wote lakini umejituma kujituma kupata kuwa kuwa ni sehemu ya, uh, ya, ya, ya majawabu ya jamii zao. Okay. Wakasema waanzishe tuzo ya, ya malikia kwa ajili ya kuwa um, kuongeza kuwatambua na kuongeza wa vijana lakini hasa eh, tuzo lengo lake ilikuwa ni kuchukua tuzo ya malikia kazi ndio inaanza. Mm-hmm. So unakuwa ni balozi e, wa malikia katika jamii ya Madola mpaka utapoishia mwisho wa kazi yako. Ah. Kwa kazi yako wewe ni kuendeleza ndio kufanya kazi unazofanya ili uweze kuonesha ubora wa yangu ni kuonesha ubora wa vijana wa jamii ya Madola wanavyojituma kwa jamii ya Madola yenye zaidi ya 1.7 billion people. 1 billion people I think. Yeah. Uweza ku wanje hapa vijana hao wanajituma sio lalamishi hajakaa tu kusema wao oh, serikali serikali hao wanajituma wanafanya kazi kwao tuwaonyeshe lakini pia ukishawaonyesha tutafute tutake connection connection labda ni uh, support funding kwa funding kwa funding kwa funding to common ile common trust na tano na ze common with trust yeah ambao ni new guys ambao wamefungua kwa jia kutupatia wale makunzi ngi that now plant ili mradi wetu uweze uweze kufanya kazi vizuri zaidi. Okay. Uh, kwa mimi sasa nilipoa tuzo hiyo kwenye mwongozo huo sasa ah uh, kwa soma app. Eh soma app kwa sababu tunazifanya mwaka ule tunapoa tuzo walikuwa wanafunzi 450 na mpata sikwash propia soma app. Kwa historia ya Tanzania huo mwaka ichukue balozi zote ambazo zipo Tanzania inavyosemekana wanafunzi tisa tu pekee ndio walipata uzamini wa squash kwa kusema nje ya nchi kwa huo mwaka kupitia balozi ambazo zipo nchini mbalimbali ndogo sana sawa so, kilinganisha na app ambayo imesaidia wanafunzi 450 kupata squash it's an exception i think ni tofauti yeah. oh, wakafanya survey wakafuatilia hao watu kupata squash baadhi yao wakaongea nao wajilizisha wakasema okay um bora na mimi nikani patuzo hiyo kwenye ni kama tunatambua mchango wako ni jamii yako na okay. tunamantu tie moyo uendelee kuinovate kwa jamii yako ya jamii ya Madola. Yeah. E, na Mbeya Safari pia tunaendelea kusaidia uweze kukua zaidi na ku expand biashara yako ni jamii ya Madola. Mbasho nakifahamu ushakuwa eh, ushapata tuzo malikia. Lango mingi sana inafunguka. Yaani uh-huh. ni hapa hapa nyumbani hapa nyumbani mimi kwa mwaka ili nichukua mimi nichukua mwaka mzima kutoka barua za elimu barua barua zaibia barua 68. Mm. Kumba tu kibali cha kwenda kupichwa kitengo cha squash cha wizara ya elimu kuhusu soma app na kupatana na kupatana nao ili niweze launch app yangu mashuleni. Yeah. Mwaka mzima nasumbuka kwenda wizara ya elimu sipata msaada wote ule. Kwa hiyo wizara ya elimu mm-hmm. Tanzania sababu unajua watu walikuwa tu thaminiki sana kwa maana yake nikisema hivyo mpaka mpaka mtu fulani au wewe mtu fulani watu wakusikilize. Okay. Lakini baada tu zamani kupatikana mimi mba, situ, situ Tanzania mabalozi wa Namibia Zimbabwe, Angola, South Africa. Mimi mkutana na Rais wa Kusini kabla hajakuwa Rais wa Mafasa naongelea soma app, launch soma app wa Kusini. Nikutana na baadaye na wazee wake na actually ninapoongea na mimi naenda kwa Kusini, si ndio nikwambia. Sababu ninakwenda kukutana na waziri wa fedha wa Kusini alikuwa waziri wa fedha wa Kusini on the same process hiyo hiyo. Kwa hiyo hii tuzo imefungua Afrika na ulimwengu watu nao wanaamini na kuheshimu innovation zetu. Nasema mimi njoo njoo tuongee njoo tukusikilize. 
tufanye nini tufanyeje kwenye nchi yetu kwa hiyo hiyo innovation yako ya kwa hiyo ni moja ya product yako tuzo maliki lakini pia ah uh, sio la tuzo mjibu lakini pia ambacho mimi nakifahamu kuhusu tuzo ni kwamba kazi ndio imeanza mm-hmm. ilikuwa iende kwa pate vijana jumla 500 na 40 uh, mimi 40 ya vijana 40 ambao kuanzia sasa baada tuzo ilifungwa mwaka jana ilipofungwa kwa hiyo vijana 40 kuanzia sasa hivi mpaka tapoishi na mshoto sisi ni mabalozi wa malikia ni jumuiya ambayo tukifanya kazi mbalimbali na jamii za jamii ya madola ku innovation kwenye kilimo kwenye afya kila mmoja ana sekta yake na ndio maana baadhi ya wenzetu juu zimepata funding kutoka 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 malikia kwa hiyo kila mwaka changa mwaka ni jamaa anapata funding ya bilioni 1 bilioni 2 au shingapi kwa sababu tunaendelea kufanya kazi na sisi sasa hivi sio kwetu sisi sio Tanzania peke yake yeah. sisi tunaangalia sisi tunaendelea vitu kwa jamii ulimwengu Afrika okay. na jamii ya madola Uh-huh. Uh, kwa ufupi wewe ulipata kupitia ipi ya Queens? Ilikuwa ni ni, yeah. ni Queens Young Leaders uh, kupitia kupitia my elimu. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, Tukotu tumesha develop platform. Um, so baada ya hapo the whole thinking behind it. Uh, it was something that was much appreciated. Queens Young Leaders is it's less about kuchokifanya mm. and more about uliporize kukifanya hicho kitu. Aha. Uh-huh. Um, kwa sababu um, na kuna kumbuka tulivyoenda kule tulivyoenda Cambridge tulikuwa tunaongea na organizers walitwambia kuna baadhi ya watu very high profile uh, locally wali apply mwaka uliofuata but hawakupata ha uh, sisi si, 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 kwamba hakufanya vitu vizuri lakini wanajaribu ku encourage wale watu ambao um, they, they really had to push the boundaries in, in order to move Um, in Ivoanza tuzo it was supposed to celebrate miaka 60 ambayo Queen Elizabeth amekuwa um, amekuwa malkia kwenye Commonwealth countries akasema kwamba atastoa hizo hizo tuzo kwa miaka minne then baada hapo atazifunga so atachagua vijana ambao kama alivyosema watakuwa ni kama ambassadors ambao watakuwa na push development in the Commonwealth countries then atazifunga so so that started uh, ilianza na class yetu baada ya hapo ikaja kuishia ana kina class ya Isaya. Kwa hiyo kina Isaya ndio ya mwisho. Yes. Uh-huh. So baada ya hapo that that was it kwa sababu the goal is not necessarily kwamba kupata kijana wa Tanzania. Mm. No. Siko kijana mtu ambaye anafanya kitu kitu exceptional. Uh, kwa sababu unadhani miaka miwili tuzo imeenda bila mtu kwa, kwa Tanzania. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Mwaka ulipita wakasema waka, waka no yeah, we haven't found anybody. Labda mwakani ndio wakaja wakapata mtu. Um, like that so so it's, 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 it's to serve as a motivation kwa vijana wengine uh, kwamba you can achieve anything okay uh, you, you, you can go anywhere it is mostly a symbol mara ya kwanza it may begin to sound like sifa mm. then after a while we, you realize it's a responsibility kwa sababu ya watu ambao wanakuwa inspired because of what you can do um, right now mimi au Isaya au kijana yote au hata wewe umefika hatua ambayo you cannot afford to give up sio kwa sababu utaki mm. but because of what that will mean kwa vijana wengine kuna baadhi ya watu ndo wanaanza maswala ya ya, ya 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 broadcasting journalism the only way wana push forward ni kwa sababu wanakuangalia wewe na madaka kafeda anafanya hichi kitu unajua sure. Al, alikuwa mimi niko kuwa hapa and kila and kila siku nakutumia message kaka big big up na inspire mm. sio unaelewa yeah. which means wewe kukata tamaa is kuna watu kwa ambao unawaambia una guys it can't be done yes sio unaelewa so that's what these awards mean that's what every time um, i speak on the, on, on the stage nje nikarudi huku nikaonyesha ni, 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 ni tuzo niliyopata every time um isaid does something every time anybody does something um, kwa watu wengine it seems like like sifa but after a while unu, sio unaanza kuzoea ila unaanza kuelewa what that means kwa sababu it means something to some people mimi kuna kun, kun, baadhi ya watu after tuzo ya malikia walitumia message wakaniambia brother mimi nilikuwa nimecha nimecha acha shule ila kwa sababu yako narudi shule kusoma and, and you have a lot of these stories i'm, I'm sure you, you also have some stories so they become responsibilities and, and because of that they hold you accountable kikinakuwa kama kifungo kwako in a good way yes kwamba usifeli and, and that and that's what 
um it means kwangu mimi okay sawa sawa 